This video will show you the best way to lay out an irrigation system using pressure regulated sprinklers for maximum water savings and best performance. Hunter has a wide range of pressure regulation devices that are proven water savers to help you maximize the efficiency of your system if your site has excessive pressure. There are the Pro Spray Pressure Regulated Spray Bodies, PRS30 and PRS40, the PGP Ultra and I20 PRB Pressure Regulated Rotor Bodies, the AccuSync Valve Pressure Regulators, and the Drip Zone Control Kits. We will discuss pressure regulation options along the path of the water line from the point of connection to the valve or zone level control and regulation at the head. Make a list of the different types of sprinklers you intend to use on the property. Spray sprinklers will need 30 PSI. MP rotators are most efficient at 40 PSI. Mid-range rotors like the PGP and the I-20 operate best at about 45 PSI and the 1 inch inlet larger rotors like the I-25 and the I-40 will be most efficient between 60 and 80 PSI. Once you determine the available working or dynamic pressure for the system, you can start to make some decisions. So if the available system-wide pressure is well above 100 PSI, you can consider installing a system-wide regulator here at the point of connection. The idea is to bring the pressure down to about 20 PSI above the largest zone that you'll be needing on the property. In this example, we have chosen to reduce the pressure to about 75 PSI for our main line using a system-wide regulator. One option is to install a master valve AccuSync combo on the incoming supply line. The second option is a generic pressure regulator set to the desired pressure. Now that we have 75 PSI in the main line, we can either regulate at the valve with an AccuSync for medium to smaller zones, or regulate at the head using a pressure regulated pro spray body for the larger zones. The same applies to our mid-range rotor valves. We have about 75 PSI in the main line arriving to the valve box, and we'll be using the PGP Ultra, which wants about 45 PSI for most efficient operation. We can either use the AccuSync here at the valve set at 55 PSI, or send the 75 PSI out to the heads and install the PGP or I-20 with pressure regulated bodies. Micro-irrigation selections include many options, point source emitters, drip line, and Ecomat for true subsurface irrigation. Hunter offers drip zone control kits designed specifically for these applications. The drip zone watering kit is a pre-tested and assembled valve, filter, and pressure regulator all in one easy drop-in unit. This is a great pressure regulation solution for all your micro-irrigation needs. The regulators are available in 25 and 40 PSI models based on your application. In setting up a system, we have talked about pressure regulation all along the water line. You can use Pro Spray pressure regulated bodies or PRB style PGPs and I-20s at the head locations. AccuSync or drip zone control kits are available for the individual zone levels and you can incorporate a master valve on the main line with an AccuSync for system-wide regulation. So based on your exact needs, you may incorporate some or all of these suggestions into your design for maximum efficiency and application of the water. For more information, refer to our website at hunterindustries.com. And thanks for watching.